You need secure private access to Google services, but should you use PSC or PSA? Trying to figure this out on your own can feel daunting. My name's Lauren Price, and I'm a networking specialist customer engineer. In this video, we'll review all the methods of private connectivity and how to apply them in the context of a network connectivity center-based architecture. So what are the different methods of private connectivity? The first set of private networking methods are for API-based services. API-based services like Gemini, Cloud Storage, and BigQuery use Private Service Connect, or PSC, for Google APIs for private connectivity. To use this method, create a global PSC endpoint in all VPC spokes that need API access and make sure to toggle on the private Google access flag on all subnets. PSC endpoints aren't accessible over a VPC peer, so this is why you need one per VPC. For each PSC for Google API's endpoint, a private cloud DNS zone is auto-created for star.p.googleapis.com. You do need to redirect your API endpoint on the application side to make use of this special domain. You can also manually create DNS zones for star.googleapis.com if you don't want to use the special PSC provided domain. For hybrid use cases, you'll need to make sure DNS forwarding is configured for either inbound or outbound forwarding, depending on where you'd like to resolve DNS. PSC for Google APIs uses a global endpoint, meaning it doesn't use any IPs from a regional subnet. This means the endpoint is not automatically advertised over hybrid connectivity. You'll need to create a custom route advertisement on your hybrid links for this connectivity. Private Google Access is another method of API-based private connectivity. However, rather than creating endpoints inside your VPCs, you must use a Google-provided VIP, ensure you have the proper route configured for the VIP, and are limited to just using the star.googleapis domain. The second set of private networking methods covers infrastructure-based services. These are services like Cloud SQL, Apigee, and Cloud Composer. Infrastructure-based services primarily use Private Service Connect, PSC, which comes in three forms, endpoints, backends, and interfaces. PSC endpoints and backends enable one-way consumer-initiated connectivity without the concern of IP overlaps in the consumer and producer environments. A PSC endpoint is a single IP in the consumer VPC that connects to a service attachment in the producer VPC. A PSC backend is a special type of network endpoint group used with Google Cloud's proxy-based load balancers. PSC backends also connect to producer service attachments, but by fronting the consumer side with a load balancer, you gain additional traffic routing features. By enabling PSC propagation on the NCC hub, this will make all PSC endpoints fully routable in all VPC spokes and via hybrid routing. PSC propagation doesn't apply when using PSC backends. This is because load balancers are fully routable anyway. PSC interfaces enables bi-directional traffic between consumer and producer. Producer services create PSC interfaces that use IP addresses from a designated network attachment in the consumer VPC. IP overlap isn't a concern unless a specific service says otherwise. Because PSC interfaces appear as NICs in the consumer VPC, they're fully routable by default, both across your NCC hub and in hybrid environments. It's worth noting that some Google services use a connectivity method called Private Services Access, or PSA, which relies on VPC peering. NCC has a feature called Producer Spokes, which allows you to connect your PSA VPC as a spoke to your NCC hub to make your PSA services fully routable in your NCC environment. It's advised to only use PSA if the service does not support PSC, or if there's a specific required feature gap between PSA and PSC. Take a look at the linked documentation below to understand which services support what types of Private Service Connect or Private Services Access. What about serverless products? Looking at you, Cloud Run. We'll cover this in depth in another video. So let's wrap up. I leave you with these key takeaways. Always check which connectivity method your service requires. PSC for Google APIs and standard PSC behave differently, and using the wrong one can break access. Services are either API-based, infrastructure-based, or serverless, which all have their specific connectivity methods. Service documentation will always explain the requirements for connectivity, so please check that out. Keep a lookout for more Google Cloud networking videos. 
Drop your comments below and don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. Thanks for watching.